everybody. Well, today's video is a haul video, and it's actually a rather major haul video. I had been really not buying that much over the summer. I've been pretty good. And I think since I've been back, and of course since I've been meeting up with my pal Alberto, um, I definitely have picked up quite a few things that I want to share with you. As a matter of fact, I want to share Alberto with you also. I'm going to leave a link down below, actually not a link, I'm going to leave his phone number, his direct phone number over at Bloomingdale's for anybody that is looking for any type of products, especially two of the products that I'm showing you that his Bloomingdale's just got in that I actually had to buy on eBay. And Alberta has also told me that if anybody mentions this video, he'll also include a gift with purchase. So definitely check out the phone number and definitely check out Alberto. So the first thing that I want to share with you is something that I saw Rachel Wade show. It's a brush cleaner. It's called Brush Cleaner. It's actually, it's called the Master's Brush Cleaner. It's actually for uh, artists, for paint brushes, but it is just unbelievable. She has a great video on it. And I was watching it and I thought, my gosh, that's so easy. You just turn on the water, you run it under water, you take your brush and swirl it around inside and then you really just rinse your brush off and that's it. Absolutely love it. It's really inexpensive. I got it on Amazon.com and it is great. Can't say enough about it. Okay, so a quick hair product. I've been trying out a new line. It's the Oreeb line, O-R-I-B-E. They sell it at Bloomingdale's. Alberto was actually the one that turned me on to it, although I did notice that when I was with my daughter the other day and I was sort of touching her beautiful curls, I said to her, my gosh, your hair is so soft. And she was actually trying out the same product that she picked up at the salon that we go to. So the first thing that I got from the line is the Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. This is a great cream to use before you blow dry your hair. Now I'm also trying out two of their shampoos. There's a brilliant shampoo that's good for color treated hair or for processed hair. And then there's the moisture and control which is good for frizzy hair and drier hair. So I'm trying both out and I'll see which one I like best. And of course, I'm sure you'll see it in an upcoming haul. But so far, this is divine. It smells so nice and my hair feels like absolute silk. Love it to pieces. The next two things that I want to share with you are from Chanel. This is an exclusive that has come out at a different, couple of different locations that was available online for a short period of time. I couldn't get it. I ended up getting it on eBay because I was in a panic calling Alberto and asking him about it. He couldn't track it down, but he found it for me on eBay. And then he called me three days later to let me know that he walked into the store and there it was at the Chanel counter. The first thing that I picked up is called Apparition. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the color of this shadow. It is so beautiful. They do have a lighter color one also. I'm sorry, I don't know the name. I'll get it and put it down here for you. But this is just such a gorgeous color. I put it on the inner corners of my eyes and blended it in. Love it. First time I've ordered something like this from eBay, I was a little hesitant because these do tend to get dried out fairly quickly. And, but really not a problem whatsoever. It came right away. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely adore it. The next thing that I got from the Blue Line is the Blue Erin. It's their uh, crayon eye definer. Beautiful blue color. I love this. I lined this really close to my eyelashes today, so not really a liner, but just to give that blue, especially against the green of my eyes, it really makes them pop. But this is gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can find it. If you can't, definitely give Alberto a call. Hopefully, they still have it at our Bloomingdale's and he can send it out to you. The next thing that I picked up was a long wearing, a new long wearing lipstick from Bobbi Brown. It's the Bobbi Brown Creamy Matte Lip Color and I got it in the color of four, which is true pink. I'm wearing it today. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. I always try to stay away from the longer lasting lipstick. I find that even when they advertise them as not being drying, I find them always to be too drying. But I tried this on, I wore it the whole day. It is absolutely divine. Love the color, absolutely beautiful pink. Really, really pretty pink. Let me just open it a little more for you guys, you can see. And it looks and wears beautifully, love it. I can smack my lips together and not get that really dry feeling that you get when you're using one of the longer lasting lipsticks. It just feel, it feels creamy exactly as the way that it's named, but it is really long lasting also, so really love that a lot. 
The next thing that I did is I went over and I was testing out, now my Bloomingdale's has a uh, Space NK in it, and there are a lot of problems. That's actually where the Areeb hair products came from. And they also have the Kevin Aquan there. So I've been reading a lot about this and of course seeing a lot of people doing YouTube videos and I said, okay, I'm gonna jump in and see if I can try a couple of their products. And I'm really glad that I did. I absolutely love this. I was really lucky because one of their makeup artists was there the day that I was there, so I got to talk to her also. So this is called Prevella. This is a cream blush, but also a cream blush and or lipstick. And I found that in most of the ones that I purchase that are a dual purpose, being for your cheeks and for your lips, I find them to be a little bit too sticky, a little too tacky for me. Not so with this one. This is amazing. First of all, it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous color. Let me see if I go close here. Oh, I think we're gonna get a really nice accurate picture this way. But just an absolutely gorgeous feel. It's a very soft application on your cheeks and it's also really nice and smooth on your lips. Not tacky whatsoever and really, really pretty colors too. So really love that a lot. The next thing that I got from the line is one of their eyeshadows. Now I picked this out as a neutral sort of blending color, highlighting color. And the other thing that the makeup artist told me is that this is a great color to use to adhere any of the other colors. It, it works as a really great base, not only as a color on its own, but also as using for a base for building up any other look that you wanna do. And it's in the color of 101 Bone and it is so pretty. It is just a really soft, soft color. I did use it today underneath the eye look that I was using as a base, and she was absolutely right. The other colors just glided right on, really pretty, and then I used it a little bit under my brow bone also as a highlighter, and absolutely love it. The next thing that I got is another Burberry shadow. Love the Burberry shadows. I wish my Bloomies had them, but they don't, so I end up either getting them, uh, Saks has them, or I buy them online. And I picked up the number 25, the Porcelain White, and I had seen this in, uh, one of the makeup artists was using it in one of the stores I was at, and she used it to put just a dab in the center of your eye just to give it a little pop. It's a beautiful, beautiful sheer color. It's called their sheer eyeshadows and it's really a great color. It's also really nice for using on the inner corners of your eyes, really pretty. And hey, it's, blue, it's Burberry. Can't say enough about the Burberry shadows. They are just a dream. The next thing I picked up is a new neutral blush from Erin. Now this is just being carried at my sacks now. It's of course Erin Lauder because let's face it, the Lauder family doesn't have enough people involved in makeup or making enough money. Yeah, right. Um, but I will say it's actually a very nice line. It is the multicolor lip and cheeks. It's in number 01 natural. Now this is one that I will say to you that I will use for contour and I will use as a cheek application, but I won't use it on my lips because it is more tacky, like I was explaining to you for the Kevin Aquan one, which is not tacky at all. And I'm gonna go a little bit closer here so you can see this color, beautiful color. Now it's showing a little pinker on the camera, but it's actually a little bit more in the brownish sort of beige family. I used it for a contouring and it works beautifully. It's a really nice product and I do like their packaging, really pretty packaging. So I probably will try out a few more things from her line. The next thing I picked up is another color from the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. Um, I bought it in the color of Topaz, which is definitely not a color for me to mix with my foundation to wear underneath, um, unless I wanted to look like I was tan, which I generally don't, you guys know that. But this is another great color for using as a contour, and even just using a little bit on your cheeks if you just want that little sun-kissed type of look. And these products are great. We all know that Lisa Eldridge talks about them and uses them all the time in her tutorials and absolutely love it. Have to get it online, but I believe that they're now gonna be carried in Sephora, so definitely check that out. The next thing that I picked up, I'm not sure if I really like it yet. I have to sort of think about it and use it a little bit more. I thought I was ordering a nude lip liner because it's part of this new nude line from Dior. And this is called their Universal Lip Liner Pencil. And when I got it, I looked at it and I thought, I have to go back and check my order because I, I think something must be wrong. But I, it is what I ordered. And it's actually a clear colored pencil and it's of course to keep your lipstick from bleeding. So, and they do advertise it as being nude. 
I guess they have a different concept of nude than I did. And it does work so that your lipstick doesn't feather into your lip. So I assume it would be really great for using red. I don't use a lot of red lipsticks, but I would think it would be really great if you don't want to try to match your red lipstick because you think it's too strong, but you also want to wear red, but you don't want it to feather into your lips. I think this would probably be really good for you. For me, I'm not 100% sure I'm keeping it. I'm gonna play with it a little more, but I'm not, I'm not sure yet if I would recommend it. So that's everything that I've picked up and I've been using, I've really been loving. The other thing I just wanna share with you really quickly is that Albert gave me two things when I was with him. The first thing was he had this great evening a couple of Fridays ago that I unfortunately couldn't go to. It was what's in your makeup bag, but a little bit different than what we do here on YouTube. What it was is that he had his customers bring in their makeup bags and they went through everything to see what items really worked well or what things could be changed or how better to use them. And then he had a gift that he gave everybody. So he saved me one because he knew that I couldn't come, but he was nice enough to save this for me. It's their fluid share and it's in the color of 11. I haven't used it yet, but I think what I'm going to do is use it similar to the Becca product. They're actually very similar colors as you can see. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. And the other thing that he gave me was there is a gift with purchase at the Armani counters now. And I think somebody else showed this in a, uh, one of their videos. Actually, I think a couple people showed it in their videos. And it is so cute. Look at this bag. This is an Armani makeup bag. And it's velvet. It's black velvet. It's got two zippers in the front, a zipper on the top. It's got a little handle. How cute is that? Now, I don't know if this is the gift with purchase that he's going to give to anybody that calls him, but I know he generally does very well, not only with his samples, but when he does his gift with purchases also. So let me know if you do get anything. I'd love, I'd love to hear about it. So that's everything. I'll list everything in the information down below so you can see that. And be sure to check out, I have the jewelry giveaway still going just the last couple of days and then I'm going to close it, announce a winner. And I've been told by the company that besides picking a winner, I can also then do a discount code. So for anybody that doesn't win, of course there will be quite a few and I'm sorry about that, but for those of you that don't win, if you want to order anything from the company, there'll be, I think, a 20% discount code, which is really pretty good. So I think that's it for today. Let me know what you think about, I've done this black back screen behind me. It's actually just a tablecloth and changed the lighting up a bit. So I'm still trying, I'm still trying to get away from that beige sort of green color that seems to be appearing. And I'm really trying to see if I can get my eyes to pop too, because people keep asking me what my eye color is and it's really, they're really green and I don't know that they show in most of my videos. So that's it everybody. Take care. Speak to you soon.